Hi, I'm Maria Zlotnick, a professor of maternal fetal medicine at UCSF. My colleagues often ask me how to approach the subject of environmental toxins with women who are pregnant or planning a pregnancy. A great place to start is by taking a brief environmental history and an example history form is included later in this story. Asking a woman about her home and occupational environments may reveal exposures that need to be addressed immediately. Her answers to the history questions may reveal her awareness of, or conversely, ignorance of environmental risks, as well as her attitudes towards making changes. Here are a few concrete suggestions for when families ask what they can do to avoid toxins. Eat fresh or frozen vegetables, fruit, whole grains, and plant-based proteins such as beans. These contain fewer toxins than a diet of canned or processed food and soda. Preconception folic acid supplementation is also important. Families who can afford to buy organic produce should. The Environmental Working Group annually publishes a Clean 15. These types of fruits and vegetables are conventionally grown but have relatively little pesticide contamination. They also have a dirty dozen, which are the worst contaminated. Another recommendation is to eat low mercury fish. Generally, smaller fish have lower mercury levels, but as you go up the food chain, bigger fish who eat the smaller fish, like king mackerel, marlin, orange ruffy, swordfish, tilefish, and large tuna have higher mercury levels. We encourage women to eat low mercury fish because of all the other health benefits of eating fish. Don't microwave in plastic. Heating increases the leaching of plastic chemicals into food. Avoiding food with substantial plastic contact, including canned foods or sodas, and wet foods in plastic pouches or boxes. Plastics with greater endocrine disrupting potential include polyvinyl chloride, polystyrene, and polycarbonate. These are the recycling numbers three, six, and seven. Plastics believed to be lower risk include numbers one, two, four, and five. Carbonless receipts may contain BPA or phthalates, so we recommend not taking a cash register receipt if it's not needed. If a woman works as a cashier and thus has more exposure to receipts, she should be advised to wear gloves and to wash hands thoroughly prior to eating. Regardless of their socioeconomic resources, women can be encouraged to wash their hands with a fragrance-free soap prior to eating. Next is a recommendation to limit pesticide and solvent use in the home. Cleaning with vinegar or cleaning agents containing vegetable soaps will introduce fewer potential toxins into the home. Another recommendation is to decrease dust. Many of the chemicals that impact reproduction are found in house dust, including flame retardants, lead, and pesticides. Strategies like damp mopping or vacuuming with a HEPA filter can make a difference in household dust levels. Avoid tobacco smoke. Obviously, we all know this, but it's also important for pregnant women to avoid secondhand smoke. E-cigarettes are not recommended as a substitution. Nicotine itself is not good for reproduction. Women and men of reproductive age should avoid lead. This issue is most urgent for those with occupational exposures, such as those who work in battery factories or in home remodeling. If a family wants to do home lead abatement in preparation for having a baby, a professional should be consulted. Lead can also be found in unexpected places, such as imported herbal or traditional remedies. Some imported pottery may also have lead in the glaze. Lead has also been found in some imported cosmetics. We recommend women avoid body products containing endocrine disruptors. Specifically, we recommend avoiding phthalates, fragrances, triclosan, and solvents. Thank you for your interest in making pregnancies healthier.